the Pentagon looked at Israel's proposal and said one word, impossible. Israeli engineers smiled, built it anyway, and what they created is now rewriting the rules of modern air combat. This is the story of a new upgrade that became a total game changer. Here's what you need to know. Iran's nuclear facilities sit 1,500 kilometers from Israel's borders. America's F-35 can only fly 1,100 kilometers. Every military expert on Earth said the same thing, impossible to reach. But in 2011, Israel walked into a Pentagon meeting with a plan so radical, so forbidden, that American officials tried to ban it completely. If it worked, Israel would create the world's most lethal fighter jet. If it failed, they'd waste billions and compromise the entire F-35 program. What happened next shocked everyone. Today, I'm revealing the two forbidden modifications that turned Israel's F-35 into something even America didn't think was possible. Let's dive in. Let me paint you the picture of where this story begins. It's 2010. Israel faces an existential threat. Iran is developing nuclear weapons. The facilities are buried deep underground, protected by the world's most advanced Russian air defense systems. S-300, S-400. Billions of dollars worth of missile batteries designed specifically to shoot down American stealth aircraft. And here's the impossible math. Iran's targets are 1,500 kilometers away. America's F-35, the most advanced stealth fighter ever built, has a combat radius of only 1,100 kilometers on internal fuel. That's a 400 kilometer gap. In military terms, that's the difference between mission success and guaranteed failure. Now, most countries would look at this problem and say, we need aerial refueling. And that's the standard solution, right? Send up tanker aircraft to refuel the fighters mid-mission. But Israel knew something other countries didn't have to consider. Tanker aircraft are slow. They're massive. They're completely vulnerable. Iranian missiles would detect and destroy them easily. And without those tankers, Israeli F-35s would become extremely expensive coffins falling from the sky. This was the situation, an impossible problem that threatened Israel's ability to defend itself against an existential threat. No other F-35 operator faced this challenge. America didn't need that range. Britain didn't need it. Japan didn't need it. Only Israel faced targets so far away, protected by defenses so advanced, with consequences so catastrophic. So what did Israel want? Simple to say, impossible to achieve. They wanted to make the F-35 fly twice as far while staying completely invisible to enemy radar. They wanted to penetrate the world's most advanced air defenses. They wanted to strike any target in the Middle East and return home safely without a single refueling aircraft. When Israeli defense officials presented this desire to the Pentagon in 2010, American generals literally turned pale. The Israelis weren't just asking for minor tweaks or small modifications. They wanted to completely gut the most expensive military project in history and rebuild it their way. They wanted to rip out American electronic warfare systems and replace them with Israeli technology. They wanted to add massive fuel tanks that could compromise the aircraft's stealth signature. They wanted to install weapons that had never been tested on the platform. They wanted complete control over the mission computer so they could adapt to new threats without waiting for Pentagon approval. American officials looked at this list and their response was immediate, absolutely forbidden. But Israel had something no other country possessed. Back in 2003, they'd signed a $20 million agreement making them a security cooperation participant in the F-35 program. Not just a buyer, a participant. This gave them rights that even America's closest allies didn't have. Rights to modify, rights to innovate, rights to customize, and Israel was prepared to use every bit of that leverage to get what they wanted. If you're finding this story incredible, hit that like button and subscribe to Arsenal Exposed for more shocking defense technology revelations. We're just getting started. Now here's where the story gets intense because the obstacles were massive. First obstacle, American opposition. Pentagon officials weren't just skeptical, they were terrified. They worried that approving Israeli modifications would open Pandora's box. If Israel gets custom modifications, then Italy will want them. Japan will want them. Britain will want them. Every F-35 customer would demand their own changes. The F-35 program was already the most expensive military project ever, costing $1.7 trillion. One wrong modification could destroy the entire program's viability. Second obstacle, 
technical impossibility. American aerospace engineers publicly stated that what Israel wanted violated fundamental laws of physics and engineering. You cannot add massive fuel capacity to a stealth aircraft without destroying its radar signature. That's not opinion, that's physics. Stealth technology works through precise shapes and surfaces that deflect radar waves. Adding external fuel tanks is like hanging giant radar reflectors on the aircraft. Every engineer knew this. It's basic aerospace science. Richard Abulafia, a respected Pentagon analyst, warned publicly that these modifications would be very costly and probably not in the best interest of any nation. Translation, don't even try this. Third obstacle, time and money. Israel didn't have decades to develop this technology. Iran's nuclear program was advancing. Every year of delay meant Iran got closer to weapons capability. And the cost of getting this wrong would be measured in Israeli lives. The negotiations dragged on for months. American officials said no repeatedly. Israeli negotiators pushed back harder. They reminded the Americans that while other countries bought F-35s for power projection, Israel needed them for survival. Finally, in July 2011, something extraordinary happened. The Pentagon said yes, but they attached conditions stricter than any military contract ever written. Every modification needed Lockheed Martin approval. Every change needed American testing. Every upgrade had to prove it wouldn't compromise core capabilities. But saying yes to the modifications wasn't the same as solving the technical problems. That's where the real conflict began. Israel Aerospace Industries and Elbit Systems faced engineering challenges that had never been solved before. How do you add 800 gallons of fuel to a stealth fighter without lighting up every radar within 300 kilometers? How do you redesign electronic warfare systems to defeat Russian air defenses specifically designed to counter American stealth technology? These weren't theoretical problems. These were real engineering nightmares that dozens of experts said were fundamentally impossible to solve. This is where Israeli engineers did something that changed everything. Instead of trying to work within the existing F-35 design philosophy, they completely reimagined what a stealth fighter could be. And they did it with two revolutionary breakthroughs that nobody saw coming. First breakthrough, the modular electronic warfare revolution. Israeli engineers from Elbit Systems didn't just improve the F-35's electronic warfare suite, they completely redesigned the entire concept. They created the world's first plug-and-play electronic warfare system specifically engineered to penetrate Russian S-300 and S-400 defenses. Here's what made this a turning point. The system could jam enemy radars while simultaneously gathering intelligence from hundreds of kilometers away. It could identify, track, and neutralize multiple threats at the same time across different frequencies and ranges. But the real game changer? They rebuilt the entire mission computer architecture. This meant Israeli F-35s could integrate new weapons, add advanced sensors, or update countermeasures in days instead of the months or years American F-35s required. A new threat emerges Monday. Israeli engineers develop a counter Tuesday. Testing happens Wednesday. Installation begins Thursday. Operational capability by Friday, that's not theoretical. That's actually how fast their system works. Second breakthrough, the impossible fuel solution. Remember how every aerospace engineer said you can't add significant fuel capacity without destroying stealth? Israel proved them all wrong with not one, but two revolutionary systems. First system, 800 gallon conformal fuel tanks that became part of the aircraft's body. Not bolted on, not attached externally integrated completely into the fuselage and covered with the exact same radar-absorbing materials as the rest of the aircraft. Israel Aerospace Industries spent years using supercomputers running billions of calculations to model electromagnetic signatures. They tested hundreds of materials in specialized chambers that replicated battlefield conditions. They redesigned fuel systems, weight distribution, and flight controls from absolute scratch. The engineering was insane, Adding 800 gallons changes everything. Center of gravity shifts. Flight characteristics transform. Electromagnetic signature could explode. One miscalculation and you've got an expensive failure that can't fly straight and lights up every radar like a beacon. But they solved it. And here's what shocked everyone. The modifications actually improved the F-35's aerodynamics. The conformal tanks created better airflow. They enhanced stability at high speeds. American experts couldn't believe the data. Second system, 425 gallon drop tanks with a genius twist. The tanks and their mounting pylons could be jettisoned mid-flight. 
Think about what this means tactically. Take off with maximum fuel, fly deep into enemy territory covering impossible distances. Approach the target, jettison tanks and pylons. Boom, instantly back to full stealth configuration. Attack with complete surprise, escape invisible. This was the turning point, the moment when impossible became possible, when forbidden became functional, when theory became reality. Drop a comment below telling me which military innovation you want me to cover next on Arsenal Exposed. Your suggestions drive our content. So what happened when Israel's new upgrade finally went into combat? The results shocked the entire world. May 2018, Israel announces the world's first F-35 combat missions. They struck targets in Syria with complete success. But the real proof came with a photograph that made headlines worldwide. Israeli F-35s flying over Beirut, Lebanon in broad daylight. Not at night. Not using weather cover. In broad daylight. Advanced Russian air defense systems operating in the area, completely blind. Surface-to-air missiles? Couldn't lock on. The aircraft were military ghosts. Iranian generals received intelligence reports showing their billion-dollar Russian defense systems were useless. Decades of defensive planning became worthless overnight. Then came June 2025. Operation Rising Lion, the ultimate validation. Israeli F-35s flew 1,500 kilometers into Iranian territory. They struck multiple high-value targets. They returned home safely. Zero aerial refueling. Zero losses. Zero aircraft even damaged. U.S. officials confirmed Israel used their forbidden fuel modifications to enable these impossible missions. Satellite imagery proved Iranian air defenses fired dozens of missiles and hit nothing. The new upgrade worked flawlessly against the world's most advanced threats. But here's where the story gets really interesting. Remember how the Pentagon called these modifications forbidden and too risky? Remember how American officials tried to ban them? Complete reversal. The U.S. Air Force requested $432 million in their 2026 budget to copy Israeli modifications for American F-35s. The forbidden upgrades America tried to ban are now being adopted by American forces. The modifications Pentagon officials called too dangerous are now considered essential. Israeli innovations are being integrated into the global F-35 program. Other F-35 operators immediately demanded their own modifications. Japan wants custom systems. Italy wants specialized capabilities. Britain wants unique sensors. The one-size-fits-all approach died the moment Israel proved customization works. The result? Israel didn't just solve their impossible problem. They transformed the entire philosophy of military innovation worldwide. They operate 36 of these upgraded aircraft today, with orders for 75 total. Each represents capabilities no other military on Earth possesses. Iran can no longer hide behind distance and air defenses. Every nuclear facility, every military base, every strategic target is now vulnerable. Russian air defense systems have been exposed as inadequate. America's military partnerships transform from sales transactions to true collaborations. Israel's new F-35 upgrade became a total game changer that redefined modern warfare. Let me tie this all together for you. Israel started with an impossible problem. Targets 400 kilometers beyond their aircraft's range, protected by the world's best defenses. They wanted to make the F-35 fly twice as far while staying invisible. Everyone said it couldn't be done. They faced massive obstacles. Pentagon opposition, technical impossibility, time pressure, and engineering challenges that had never been solved. American experts said the laws of physics made Israel's goals impossible. Then came the turning point. Two revolutionary breakthroughs. A modular electronic warfare system that could adapt in days instead of years. And an impossible fuel solution that doubled range while maintaining stealth. The result? combat-proven success that forced America to completely reverse its position. A total game-changer that transformed military innovation philosophy worldwide. This isn't just a story about upgrading a fighter jet. This is a story about innovation, persistence, and proving that impossible is just an opinion. If this story amazed you, smash that like button and subscribe to Arsenal Exposed for more incredible defense technology revelations that you won't find anywhere else. We're exposing the secrets that change warfare. Don't miss out and check out this video next where I reveal the nine secret systems that make the F-35 nearly impossible to shoot down. Trust me, you need to see this. Thanks for watching Arsenal Exposed and I'll see you in the next one.